All right, everyone, here we are with round six of the DXM, the official unofficial German region championship on TTS here on the X-Wing SHG channel. My name is Daniel, aka Scumdan, and with me today, like in the all the other rounds, is Sebastian, aka Rushstar. Hello there. So, say Scumdan, two further scum lists on stream. I see you like them. Um, I, of course I do, but it was not so much my decision. Uh, uh, the others that were four and one, uh, we had them on stream, or it was like uh, Django something, um, or there were already five and O. Oh, so save for the cut. So not too much tension there because they're already safe for the top sixteen. So I picked two lists that are both four and one. Both up, still playing for the cut, and as it so happens, uh, we had two scum lists. Uh, I just so you, chose so one. You're saying scum yeah. is quite good right now. Yeah, <laughs> they definitely are. Um, and we have see we see on the right side Ernestas Romanowskas. Um, wait a second, I think I spelled his name wrong. It's Romanowskas, not Romanowskas. Ramanoskas. There we go. Okay. Um, and he's playing uh, Fen Rao and Guri. A list that I've played a lot of times. Fen Rao without maneuver. Uh, Guri without maneuver. Advanced sensor. Shield upgrade. After bonus and Virago. Uh, title. Not taking the advanced proton torpedoes. Even though there would have been uh, points left for in that list um and shellen babo from germany from the squadron of bavaria is playing tyrannicolda with snapshot snapshot working fine with the tyrannicolda ability uh threat tracers the r5 take uh, tk uh, astromech deadman switch nomlam with proton torpedoes auto blasters sam wessel there, there she is again. Uh, Denga and False Transponder Codes. There they are again. Captain Justero with False Transponder Codes. And an annoying little piece in every scum list that is Captain Seawar. So tell us, what's the, what does Shell and Babu mean in English? Uh, <laughs> a Shell is like a punch in the face with a flat hand. And a Babu is like the boss. So he's the, <laughs> the, 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 the slapping boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me start the bets for this round. Okay, so bets are open. You can bet now on player one or player two. So I already see Funwalk betting 1,000 points on his team buddy, Shellen Bubble, also known as Master Blaster, also known as Benedict Link. Uh, champion of the uh, Team Rui Rope from the uh, Coruscant Invitational. And System Open winner Eindhoven uh, 2019. So we already gave away a first order damage deck and the Acrylic Murat token. We are... Also, thanks to uh, Zwiebelduck for a uh, sub. I think I missed that one last round or in between rounds. And we are, let me count, seven subs away uh, from the Time in the round has started. Time in the round has started. Yep. Good. Here we go. Okay, so, so Guri is really flexible. She can go anywhere with the spandy barrel roll. She can boost uh, after the maneuver, do the barrel roll after the maneuver with advanced sensors. She can do that before moving. Uh, so it's nearly impossible to block her. <laughs> Shoko thinks uh, Scam will win this one. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, lots of neat interactions on uh, Shell and Babo's side here with Turani and the snapshot to trigger his ability twice. Just a row for the double tap. Nom Nom's always a good spot. Oh, to Proton torpedoes and Nom Nom, yeah. Also hitting hard. So, how to uh, charge up Sam Wessel in this squad? There are a lot of ways to do it. 
so far. I don't see any clear indication how uh, Bene will do that. Yeah, having played uh, Fenguri, what do you think? Uh, will we see a lot of flying around, uh, looking for the perfect spot to pounce? Uh, it, depends. So, right? it depends. It uh, depends. So there are uh, two ways to fly. Um, I personally was uh, a player who was a little bit more cautious. We're just seeing an R5 TK shot on... Let's see what is happening here. So we get one through. So what exactly is happening now? Uh, Sam got charged. So Sam by got charged. By threat racering Nomlamp, I guess. Uh-huh. So that's been um, Shell and Barbo's uh, way of charging Sam. So he does not have Lunition Failsafe. Doesn't need it as threat tracers don't do damage. Um, oh yeah, he spent the threat tracers. Threat tracers, a man. <laughs> so you can do it the Nicholas God way and just use a uh, munitions failsafe. You can use the racers. You can just shoot at the ship carrying that. Uh, like we've seen yeah. in uh, round three, I think it was. Yeah. With the one damage uh, onto Ketsu. That was crucial in the end. It's really interesting. Um, really interesting to see that... Um, uh, uh, Ernestus, Ernestus uh, squad did not take uh, target locks onto the uh, gas clouds by now to counteract the fourth transponder codes. Yeah, by now you should uh, know what is happening with uh, Zam Wessel. Even we get it uh, right, sort of. So that means something. <laughs> so what I was about to say is, uh, with having played a lot of Guri Fan, so there are two ways. If you play it like, uh, for example, Phil GC, he's uh, pretty aggressive. With Fan and Guri, uh, I myself uh, played a little bit more cautious. Um, I had some games with like uh, killing half a ship and then just be cautious, get it out of arcs. And uh, then in the final two or three rounds, uh, finishing off one ship and uh, run for the last uh, three or four minutes, which is possible. I know it's not the... Um, most fun way for your opponent, but it's a safe way to play uh, and it helped me to get uh, to the regional cut and um, it is a valuable strategy, but also uh, you can deal a lot of damage with Guri and uh, Fan. So um, if you can get the angles right, if you can get the right approach, uh, you can be a little bit more aggressive and just annihilate one ship in one turn. And re re engage and uh, take on somebody else. Yeah, but I guess um, what do we say? Shell and Babo, Bene, Master Blaster. What's what's what do we say? Let's call him Babo. Makes, makes it easier um, for the people who don't know him and they have yeah. that name on the on the stream uh, overlay. Babo won't make that easy uh, for Ernestus because of all the shenanigans his uh, scum squad is able to pull off. Especially with the double tap from um, both Torani and um, Jostero. Torani uh, being able to double tap possibly with a snapshot. Mm -hmm. And Nomlamp uh, is sporting those proton torpedoes is always a real danger. And it looks like um, Babo isn't going into the uh, gas cloud field, but rather is moving on the lower half of the table. Yeah, especially for Numlump, that helps uh, to have that space going to the left direction uh, with the uh, dial of the Jumpmaster designated to go left. Yeah. So Guri, doing Guri things. Yeah. 
you need to wait for your perfect opportunity to yeah. but drop she, on uh, being a Babo squad here. She is so much fun to play. Yeah, but she is also quite expensive and uh, having Guri would net uh, Babo a lot of points. Yeah, usually um, you can... Uh, you can you, usually you uh, assume that Fen Rao is going to die during the game. Uh, yeah, I tend to do that. So, and um, it just has to kill enough points for your own list uh, so that uh, Guri can wipe up the rest uh, piece by piece. So we see, I uh, guess uh, it will be some more rounds of positioning. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we see who comes out on top. Um, having to play four rounds of cut tomorrow, uh, are we doing the two hour finals or the Golds Run and Podcast style 75 minute finals? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, fun walk in the chat. Will we have a 75 minute final? Normal, Normal finals, finals, yeah. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. In general, I know the official FFG rules for finals uh, say two hours, but I think it's, uh, how do you say it? It's a rule that is a little bit outdated. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the new, uh, floor rules, um, and the penalty points for fortressing and slow play. Yeah. I guess you don't have to play two hours to no. have a good final. And it's always, there are always lists that are taking advantage of a longer final and uh, lists who are having a disadvantage if you play a two hour long final. Yeah. Exactly. This is the way Funwalk has spoken. It's the way of the community. <laughs> and it's not Fantasy Flight Games anymore. Uh, it's AMG now. We see what they will do with the tournament part of the game. Yeah, I'm really excited for that uh, live stream of uh, Atomic Mass Games on the 3rd of February. Um, there was an interesting poll and discussion on, I think, the Fly Better um, Facebook page. Uh, what it would mean to the players if there would no such thing anymore as like uh, official competitive events if Atomic Mass Game would um, have more like a, of, of a casual way uh, of playing the game and I think with having community run events I think by now everybody would be fine with that we have had so many great community run events uh, who have been I'm just looking at uh, the GSP events of course who are prestigious and 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 taking over uh, or, or are in a position of taking over those official competitive tournaments. Yeah, I also voted for the um, community-run tournaments yeah. as well, because if if there isn't anything um, official, then the community has to do it, or the game will die out. Yeah. Or, uh, the, uh, in parenthesis, uh, hardcore tournament game. So Sam's fully charged up by now. Thrust Tracer's used again. So interesting how many uh, different possibilities there are to charge Sam. Without the enemy having to interact with her. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need Tracer's, just roll better. <laughs> Always helps. <laughs> Yeah, he spent both tracers without getting any locks. What that? What a noob. So I guess Fan goes fast next round. Five straight, maybe. Yeah, I will try to get the rear of. Um... Uh, Babo's squad. Yeah, Guri can just wait and see. 
dial in something like a two straight and see what happens. You're absolutely flexible with Guri. But once you get her in a bad spot, uh, you can lose a lot of points pretty easily. You absolutely have to flex with Guri. Yeah. I learned how that the hard way at the hyperspace trial card against uh that was the time when when uh, Anakin uh like like two Jedi and two turns uh, with Regen was still a thing and mm, I just couldn't days. get any damage done on them and then Guri was in a bad spot and yeah the game was over pretty easily and uh pretty fast I'm really interested in which lists will make cut um are there any Republic lists? Are any Separatist lists in the in the card? Ah, yeah, Separatist, yeah. Uh, Django, Sam, of course. Um, are there any Republic lists in the cut? Uh, there is. Uh, Ilias Illy, a uh, team member of uh, Bubble. He is playing a list uh, that is very interesting. We had that on stream, uh, was it this Thursday or was it last uh, week? Um, he's playing Anakin Skywalker in the ETA with Brilliant Evasion, Predator, Auto Blasters, R7, A7, and Stealth Device, and four Blue Squadron Protectors, the Torrents, all with dedicated Iron Missiles and Synchronized Console. Really strong list. <laughs> Sounds quite cool. So I wanted to have him on stream, but I mean, he's already 5-0, and oh, so uh, it wouldn't be been too exciting uh, because both players that were playing uh, then would already have a safe uh, spot in the cut. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. When will we start uh, streaming tomorrow? Um, the first round, the top 16, also starts at 9 a.m. CET. That is uh, UTC plus one. Or UK time plus one. So set your timers, people. Be back. There will be giveaways. Oh, yeah, there will be. After each round... As always, we give away uh, two card packs with different cards, FFG alt arts and community cards. And uh, as you might have seen uh, in the other rounds, if we reach uh, the sub golds, there is even more. There will also be, uh, maybe I leave the stream on for that. Uh, there will be a raffle for an HMP droid gunship, a Django Slave 1, and the Silver Naboo Royal Starfighter Limited Edition for a bit, uh, for all players who completed their six rounds. Uh, we will have a giveaway for them. <laughs> Some sort of drop protection. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, if you stick uh, with us, with the tournament, uh, even though... You cannot make cut or whatever, um, so you still have a chance to win something nice. Yeah, and while we're talking, there's still no engagement going on. So there's the jam so token far. from uh, Zem, I guess. With Nomlom taking the target lock. Yeah, false transponder codes by Nomlom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, false transponder codes. Not Zem Vessel, sorry. Fixed that up. Okay, Fen trying to get some distance between him and Justero. But might still be in Justero's R guards close. Still lots of uh, jiggling for position here. But Babo starts to split his squad up now. Um, Torani doing the K turn. And just throw now is out, but it was close. So, but now Fen has to be careful. Jostero coming in from yeah. the one side, from the left side. Tarani coming in. Tarani coming in. Namlam coming in. Sivor as well, even though there and is still some distance. Uh, never forget uh, Namlam's proton torpedoes. So, I could imagine Fen Rao going really fast. Boosting in on Tarani, getting that range one shot. I mean, he has outmaneuver. Uh, outmaneuver. You usually don't want to face uh, a ship front. In this case, you don't have fearless. Um, but still, uh, 
you want that range one with Fenra. Yeah. You also want that range one with Guri, but you're perfectly fine just to, to hide behind the gas clouds for now. And then wait for the right time to strike. And then you strike fast, strike hard. Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Guri Kai. Sure, wanted to say that. Yeah, <laughs> Guri Kai. Yeah, awesome. We need a shirt for that. Uh, for tomorrow, we will have some guest commentary for round one. We will have uh, Phil Pond from the Firestorm Squadron Firecast with us. And for round two, we will have uh, one of Germany community pillars, uh, Dali, commentating with us. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and later, uh, I think we might have uh, Scott from Hexar Gaming. Cool. Even more fun. He knows stuff. Yeah, he does. Oh, with with, the, with streaming knows. so many games. <laughs> if you can wake up early enough, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe for the semi-final and the final, Scott will be awake. So still lots of deciding going on. We're down to 57 minutes in the round. So what are the possibilities for Babo to trigger just Terror's attack, uh, bonus attack? Is it Torani's ability would be one way to trigger it? Snapshot? Nope. Um, Deadman Switch by Torani would be another possibility. <laughs> you could just shoot at um, some ship with R5 decay. Yeah, probably the best chance is the Tarani ability. Yeah, Tarani is the only ship in Babo's squadron able to activate just Terror's bonus attack, I guess. If I don't miss something here. Mm -hmm. uh, and Deadman Switch. It's also on Tarani. Yeah. But it's another possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dials aren't down still. So, but looks like they're almost ready. Yeah. There we go. Num lumped. And hard to turn, turn to the left. Uh, his arc no is one... facing to the left. Question mark. Yeah, but he already has the um, target lock on Guri, and the proto torpedoes can be fired out of the front. Mm hmm. So that's a big, huge field of fire Guri does not want to end in. I mean, Guri can just do the bandy barrel roll to her left, go straight and get in Nom Lom's flank, getting that focus and only taking one shot from Captain yeah, Sivor. That's right. Oh, how, let's see how fast she goes. It's out of um, uh, Lam's arc for sure. In, in, for now, but she still has to move. Yeah, you're right. This could be close. I mean, it will not be. Oh, if she gets to uh, range one, uh, she's perfectly fine because yeah. no, no problem to feed us. She bumps Nom Lam. Yeah. Yeah. Probably doesn't want to. 
Oh, well, it doesn't matter if she bumps or not. Nah, look at that. She will get her focus and will have a nice range one shot. No outmaneuver though, but still. So, Tarani. We'll take a target lock. Um, Jostero ja used the transponder codes on uh, Fen Rao, mm -hmm. jamming. Yeah. Oh, such a strong card. And Fenro did not take a uh, lock onto any of the gas clouds while he had the time. Okay. Yeah, focus for Fen. Gets removed by the jam token. Uh, now gets so a range two shot from Tarani. That is a shot you don't want to have. Is it range two from Turani? Ah, uh, Turani, yeah, Turani, Turani. Just, I thought, just Hero. Uh, just Hero is range one. Yeah, and uh, Fen unmodified. You just uh, pray to the dice gods here. Uh, dice gods have Ooh. no mercy with Fen Rao here. Only one hit. Yeah, easily evaded. Uh, jamming is good, yeah. So, Guri, range one. Yep. On to Sivo. So, that means focus, quote unquote, jammed as well. Ah, of course, yeah, Sivo's ability. Yeah. That's a lot of debuffing going on. Yeah. Two hits. And takes one. So it, now it could get ugly. Yeah. For both Guri and for Fenrau. Having no mods. Oh, hit and two crits. Oh, you don't want to see crits when Fen is getting shot. <sighs> Fen doing Fen stuff. He takes the crit. At least it was range three. Takes two crits. Why does he take? Weapons. Oh yeah, but he, it was here crit. So he uh, takes weapons failure and hull breach. Oh boy, that might be game for Fen. Yeah. Tarani also hitting for three, hitting for yep. So just throw three hits. Okay. Oh, safe now. And the one from uh, Concord Dawn. Concordia face off. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Guri also taking a shield. Ooh. Bad round. And Numlam getting a shot. Uh, for nothing. So, yeah. Fen. Safe now. Ooh. But Fen with the weapons failure, that's not what you what no. you want to see. And no, only no, no, no. two hull remaining. Every ah. crit on Fen is not a good crit. Um and Babo Squad did not take any significant damage at all. Sivo just took one hit. Those transponder codes really doing work here, jamming away uh Fen's focus. That really would have helped us offensive here with those four uh, evade, uh, four focus he rolled in attack. So, uh, Fan is also in a bad position. He has to. Probably go to the left, get close, maybe yeah, go, bump going into to the right. Would <laughs> going to the right would uh, run him straight into Tarani. 
Yeah, also with uh, just rotating behind, uh, you probably want to bump into either Numlamp or um, or Seavor. Only uh, getting a range one shot from from either of them. <laughs> Fun book in the chat. Anastas only has two guns and gets a weapons failure. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to see that. But uh, Fen uh, can at least uh, add one die in range one. So yeah. he, has, he has that going for him. Otherwise, it would be even more sad. Sad Fen noises. <laughs> what are sad Fen noises? What does he do? <laughs> <laughs> That's the penguin. That's the sad <laughs> penguin. <laughs> Got to rewatch uh, Rebels to get some uh, fan row noises. Yeah. Getting a, a little bit closer in here. Looks better now. Wow, those transponder codes. How many points are those? I think there are yeah. two points. Really, really, two really points. strong. Yeah. They definitely will go up in points uh, as soon as there is another points update. Yeah. Such a great tool to uh, just debuff the opponent. So, win conditions for Anesta's. Uh, so, Sivor will not be enough. Uh, you have to kill Jostero. Uh, or maybe getting two ships down to half. I mean, there's still time, right? And uh, especially Guri is slippery and she can turn the game around. That's for sure. Yeah, but you would like to see some more damage on Babo's ships to be really able to flex with Guri here. I mean, I mean, Guri is in a good position, right? Uh, she can just yeah. stay behind Sivor and Namlamp, uh, trying to get a target lock even uh, and getting the focus from being in range run to an enemy ship. Um, maybe even have outmaneuver. So she, that can mean a lot of damage pretty quickly. Uh, Fen is the one who has to be really, really careful here now. And usually with only having those two ships, uh, you need both guns as long as you can. Uh, and it looks like Fenrau is out of the game pretty soon. So Guri has yep. to do a lot of work. So what do you do here with Fen here? Do you go straight over the gas cloud and just bug out, try to re-engage at a later point in the game? Or do you try to make your last shot count and go for whatever ship presents you, uh, itself to you? Uh, uh, both, I think, solid options. Just YOLO five straight over the uh, gas cloud. Probably not taking a shot at all. Maybe a range three shot from the turret of Numlump. Yeah. Um, oh, Numlump. Um... Okay. okay turn oh yeah yes the lock on on uh on guri mm. so getting a strain those proto torpedoes are such a good way to bully your opponent into spots he doesn't want to be in. yeah just terror banking in target lock on fen
Okay, see, we're going for Fen. I would have thought that Sivo was trying to maybe set up a... Uh, I mean, setting up blocks for Guri is nearly impossible, but at least denying some options. So, Curry. Uh, what did you reveal? I cannot see that from Too my... Too hard right. Yeah, just barrel roll to the... Uh, yeah. That looks good. To our right should bump into non lump. Yeah, which is okay. Yeah, but while you are dancing around, you are not doing any damage. Ooh. Okay. And going in that okay. direction. Uh, means no shots. As far as I can see, uh, Sivo will be able to shoot at Fen if. He's oh, I thought he bumped. Oh, I thought he bumped. I, I'm uh, misinterpreting nope. his situation he here. Uh, that is good. Uh, he did get rid of one of the crits? Question mark. Um, no, he did not. He, I think he's thinking about which uh, action to do here. Mm -hmm. Um. And he has uh, Sivo in his bull's eyes, so Sivo's ability is turned off for this shot. Yeah, you try to uh, delete Sivo here, right? No. Yeah, I mean, you, you, mean you get jammed Weapons anyway. Flipped. Weapon so gone. don't bother on the action. And now uh, weapons failure is gone gonna make that right on the overlay and this will be a five dice shot unmodified for fen yeah so he needs good dice now really good dice oh, oh. just one crit on five dice so the 10 red rolled one hit and a crit yeah, coming out of on them. 10 red dice yeah, but without being able to modify them, you can't be mad at the dice. Only one. So, Ben's got that. At least not taking any more damage. Yeah. Dice freezing up for a second there. So, 40 minutes left. Still, um, the two crits on Fen Rao, the only damage dealt so far, and the one on Sivor, the rest of the ships completely intact. Yeah. And uh, the Zem Vessel uh, crew cards already fully charged up, so um, might come into play later as well. Also, auto blasters for um, Nomlamp, so you don't want to be in his front arc. He will shoot you with proton torpedoes, or he will shoot you with auto blasters. Yeah. Also, Denga. <laughs> <laughs> also, Denga, yeah. Oops, sorry. Ah, it's looking grim for Fenguri here. So, anybody, we are at 995 followers here on Twitch. Maybe if you are watching right now and have not pressed the follow button, you can do now. Reach us 1,000 uh, followers like we did on YouTube yesterday. 199? Oh, it says 995. I have to refresh that. Let me take another look. Still says 995 for me. Well, I will not complain. So, and uh, like usually all the games that we have on uh, stream, we will put uh, those games later on to our YouTube channel. 
uh, exclamation point YouTube in the chat and then you find a link to our YouTube channel or just search for X-Wing SHG on YouTube. So if you have missed uh, one of the games today from the DXM or our League Nights or uh, we had uh, round three of the Kyber Cup also on stream here, uh, you can rewatch those games on YouTube. Check DM, please. We'll do. Hmm. So what do you do here to get back into the game if you're Ernestus? You try to get both of your arcs on one ship to try to kill it. You can't spread around your damage. You don't have time for that. So tough spot now for Anastas. Uh, Bubble can put some pressure on both ships. What does uh, what possibilities has Nam Lump to get rid of the strain and the stress? Everything uh, to everything's... the right shouldn't be blue, right? No, no it's not. Um, I can pull up the dial here in just a sec. Uh, so one, two, three, bank to the left, and one, two, three, straight are blue. That are his only options. Um, he could just go straight and try to get in the way of Fen, maybe turning his arc, and then sloop yeah. next round, or the round. I mean, the round after that. It could also just go one straight blue so stay keep staying on the spot that might make things awkward for fan mm -hmm. um tarani could maybe bank to the left if fan decides to go right um or joshua could uh, hard turn left and uh, tarani as well so both ways here are some sort of blocked for for fen yeah too straight if he tries from to here. go here oh, looks like he's going the other way around i uh, trying to get yeah. guri maybe yeah but that is so hard why does Torani's base plate always say bumped or is it just for me no it's for me as well okay Okay, Gui, Gui. <laughs> Gui will have a shot this turn, I guess. And will not take any. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Gui will have no shots and will be shot at. Oh. Hi. So she will get a focus token. Wow, Fan did not bump. Oh, that was close. That's I'm just zooming in. It's it's by an atom. By a hair. It's incredible. There's no wiggly space. Okay, focus um linked into a Barrel roll for Fen here. So he will have his first modified shot of the game. And Denga won't trigger. <laughs> now you have a focus and now you don't roll focus results. But that are 
three hits and a crit. Oh, uh, finally some numbers. damage. Yep. The crit is disabled power regulator. Okay, that's not too bad. For now, that's the so I. Finally up to his form. It's the IO one, right? Yeah. Yep. So. Better turn for Fen here, but Guri will be shot by um, Sivo. So Denga not triggering. Denga is a May. Oh, wait. The charge it's is flipped. In, in, this... in your firing oh. art, it doesn't have to be. Ah, non ability. Yeah, right. Hmm? The um, arc indicator was pointing in the opposite direction, but Numlum's ability uh, had him uh, turn the arc indicator. So now we see this shot from Sivo and Guri. Two hits. Uh, still taking one damage from that. And so no, 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 no. Yeah. I think who are you shooting here? Fan? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you should. Range one. Um Yeah, kind of call your face off is disabled. So it's a hit it crit into fan. Ooh, and he waits. Mm-hmm. So, first iron token on Nomlam. Yeah. So Guri taking some unnecessary, uh, some heartfelt unnecessary damage here. So Guri has to be careful. If she goes down half, the, this game is over. I don't think there is enough time. Uh, for Anastas to recover from that. Um, Nomlamp could quite well uh, sloop here, right? And should. Yeah, yeah, he probably will do that. He's in a good position for that. Sloop to the left. Yeah. And then dial in something blue. The next turn. And also the uh, lock on Fen Rao by Nom Nam, so the uh, proto torpedoes could be fired. Absolutely. So just a small reminder, um, after this round we will have a giveaway for two more card packs. Uh, if you want us to give away uh, she shuttle as well or xi shuttle xi shuttle how do you pronounce it i don't know <laughs> nobody knows uh so we need to reach 50 subs we are i think 12 away right now so if you want to get this here we need more subs. There's the sloop. Ah. My my screen froze. Okay. Oh no, the K turn or K. Still, it's in a good spot. But will be ionized. No, won't be ionized. It's a large piece. Ooh, nice maneuvering here. Three heart fitting perfectly around that gas cloud. Yeah. No. Guri facing of Justero might be out of his 
arc. Yeah, I guess so. Mm, let's see what. No, it's close. Oh, um, snapshot just got triggered. Oh, but uh, Fanny Vader. Yeah. Okay. Was really close. Just oh. clipped the bullseye. Good for Fan. Fan has to go over the gas cloud next round. Nope. Still can barrel roll. Oh, okay. But is being bullied out of his engagement uh, corridor by Nomlamp and Torani. Yeah. So won't do any damage. So it's um, Guri's turn to do some work now. And also if you see how the ships are positioned for Babo. So next round, Jostro can go left. Um, Sivo can go right. Uh, Nomlam can go right. Torani can get uh, straight. So all escape options uh, yep. more or less denied. So uh, just around losing one shield. Probably okay for Babo here. Range three attack by Torani. Oh, spends the focus for three. And is safe for now, but has to spend the focus. Sivor on Guri. Yes. I don't think that that Sivor is Scottish on Guri. Second iron token on Nomlamp. Mm -hmm. And we're back to dials. So 27 minutes left to play. And Guri and Fen are struggling, but still aren't uh, ready to give up the fight. Yeah, I mean, you still got a chance. Uh, Bubble only scored 37 points so far. Um, but time's running out for, for Anestas. I mean, even if Anestas loses, if the score stays something like this, there is a pretty good chance that he still can reach cut. Um, because I think he had quite a decent MLV before that round. And I think at least two people with four wins and two losses will make top 16 cut for tomorrow. Yay for more scum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick some some nice pairings for tomorrow. Uh, I think I want to have Illy with his uh, ETA Anakin and four torrents for the top sixteen game. That'd be nice. That would make me happy. What do you think? How many Zam vessels will we have in the finals? So zero, one, or two? Uh, say again, please. How many Zam vessels will we have in the final match? Uh, zero, one, or two? Mm, not sure. I mean, we have some very good other um, other lists here, and very good players who are playing something different. But there are a lot of sand vessels around, so we could use uh, ask chat. I mean, there are um, 10, 10 out of 107 players. Yeah. Then you really, really wanted to stream all the sand lists. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just uh, like, like, like Django's uh, uh, sand vessels in, in, uh, as a pilot, I think. But I'm sure. Oh, Illy in the chat. Uh, he was destroyed from Green Dragoon in the last game. Ooh. 
Green Dragoon with his Imperial Aces. With the Vader doing Vader things, critting stuff. straight from Nom Lump will be ionized next turn. Jostero taking it slow, one bank to the right. And a 3k from Sivo. Trying to make maneuvering harder for Guri. And Tarani's on fence tail. Bar was really Dio doing a great job bullying yeah. Ken Rao out of this game. Yeah, absolutely. Making it really hard for uh, Anessis to get some nice shots. Yeah, keeping it really awkward. It's, it's now still in range of uh, Nom Nom's Proton Torpedo. But quite well protected behind the gas cloud. And oh, we crit. have a snapshot. Oh, wow. Takes the crit. Ooh. I mean, he has hull reach, so crit anyway. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. That's okay. You only have one hull left. Yeah. But this already, I guess, is second hit from snapshot. A uh, shift from an Estus squad had to take. Uh, so, good guy snapshot. So, Fan has to boost. Oh, why didn't he boost? Now, uh, Nomlock can get a Proton Torpedo. I guess he's still in range, yeah. What did he boost? He did boost. He did boost. Uh, oh, he did left. boost. Okay. Uh, otherwise, he would have been behind that gas cloud. Well, range three shot, I guess, onto Sivo. Or just a row, which is better because of the jam thingy and just real just row. Also, yeah, right. oh, he spends the focus. I don't know if that is going to pay off. So, getting hit crit on just a row, wounded for just a row. So, first points for Anestas, but only 22, still needs 16 for the lead. Ooh. Two hits. So Sivor is gone. dead. That is the lead for Anastas. So as you can see, it can turn around. Oh, and Namlom's got no range. Wow. That was close. Uh getting his third uh iron token, right? Yeah, right. Uh, TTT seems not to have updated here. Uh, it's only 22 points for Anastas. So it's not the lead because Shane Barber already has 37 points. Uh, it is 52 points for Anastas and 37 ah, points for uh, Babo. If updated for me now. Ah, fence out of Proton to Peter range. Even with um, only a two dice gun being uh, deleted off the table, that's huge for Nestus because you have one less arc to take care of, to evade from. And now it's a really good position. Nom Nom is not the fastest, um, and Guri can just do something like a one heart, see where Justro is going. Fen can go fast, try to catch Justro, kill them, and then you have all the space in the world with 20 minutes left to be really cautious and not get any more shots in 
and win this game with Guru Fan. Yeah. And especially with um, Nomlamp being ionized next turn, so you know where he is. Sivor flying over the gas cloud. That's Tarani. Yeah. <laughs> Always. It is game up. six. <laughs> yeah. When did you get get up uh, to, uh, this morning? At seven. I had to paint some miniatures before seven. streaming. Okay. Today. I got up at like uh, quarter to seven. Uh, and I couldn't sleep last night because I was too afraid that the uh, tournament couldn't. Uh, it couldn't be played because of the TT as an Everything's fine. Oh, Snapshot okay. triggers again. Another hit from Snapshot. That might kill Fan if he doesn't roll a squiggle. And he does not. Oh, that is so Fan unfortunate. Those snapshots. Snapshot. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. And that is the lead again for Babo. Oh my god. This is going back and forth. So, Guri gets the focus. Now, has an outmaneuver shot on Jostero, who only he has well kill Jostero, three yeah. left. Needs good rolls. Looks Can't like hit. two hits and a crit. Only... Jostero only able to roll one die. Yeah. Uh, and he's dead. Does he have a focus? Nope, no. he does not. He's dead. And that's so, uh, the... Oh, and Babo is leading by one point now. One single point. This is so close. Yeah, it's... Now it's Guri's game to lose. Um, still has the shield left and um, is able to outfly the, both escape ships for sure. But we'll have to be cautious for the proto torpedoes can still sting. Um, if, Timo if in the chat, Guri four straight after burner. Um, yeah, looks like a good option. I mean, Tarani is stressed. So could, okay, could he turn? Let me take a look at the like dial. Uh, could do something like a two turn, but oh, fast rate looking really good. Then just yeah, barrel roll out Guri. of arc. Guri is being targeted by proton torpedoes now. And another lock from Tarani. On Guri, yeah, do it while you still have the time before she can really uh, dance around you. Four straight from Guri. Yeah, perfect. It's on the dial. Could get into range one. Yeah, of, do it. Um, Use afterburners and then bendy barrel roll. Yeah. Because you don't want to face that auto blaster shot in Bullseye? No, you don't. <laughs> you might even could manage. Uh, where is where's the arc pointing of Namlam? To, uh, to the right. To his right. Yeah, to his right. Or to our right. To um, to Rani. Okay, so bendy barrel roll. So four straight after bonus bendy barrel roll to the right, and you're good to go. Uh, get half points on Numlump, and then you win the game. So Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> it looks like he's considering what to do. Okay, we, we're not in the position. Ooh, okay, the... Ah. So the afterburners will not fit if he goes straight. No. Won't? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ooh, it's really close. Auto blaster forward fits, you mean? Ah, you have more experience with DTS. If you think it fits, <gasps> it fits. It fits. But I uh, will the bandy barrel roll get you out. Uh, three was like a, a stream tomorrow. Top 16 starts at 9 a.m. 
CET. Oh, this well, is looking out by amazing. Uh, of course, Num Num can ch can uh, change the turret after um, Guri has shot. Yeah, but right. still, you don't want to get that auto blaster shot. Linked into focus. Yeah, uh, and linked into calculate. Good it's option. Focus. Will not use uh, advanced sensors next turn, but I think that is perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. Range one. No outmaneuver. Or outmaneuver. Oh no, only one. Ooh. You won't get half points on Num Lump with that. Or will you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam gets triggered. Uh, okay, so but you it, better that, mean business. That was half points on Num Lump. So Anastas leading now by 32 points. Num Lump turning the arc indicator using his ability. Shoots. One hit. One hit, yeah. Target this lock. The target lock, yeah. Hit crit. Ooh. Oh. His green dice are so bad. Taking the last shield on Guri. Yeah, still not half points. But the uh, bonus attacks coming in now. Only, Only one. one hit. Guri could do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, she couldn't. <laughs> oh <laughs> Take my. another one. Oh my god. So Guri should this be This is so unlucky. That is half points on Guri. So that means uh, he has to kill Nom Nom now. Wow, this is really lucky for Babo now. Not a single evade rolled. But, but that's the risk. That you sometimes uh, have to take when playing uh, Guri Fen. So we have a little bit more than 10 minutes. Oh, K turn by Nom Lump. Another three, another really three, three hearts, yeah. <laughs> really good at evading the guest loads. <laughs> and Guri is having none of it trying to get out yeah but but he needs the points so babo is leading uh timo asking the chat who's first player yeah we really should uh, display that on screen i don't know <laughs> <laughs> um i see the indicator is lying uh, on uh, ernesto's side on the upper right corner just below his name so I guess Ernesto is the first player. Okay. There you go. So Nomlam will be able to take a lock on Guri now, next turn. Uh, which uh, Nom has no iron tokens left because the um, power regulator has already been flipped. Already did his uh, iron maneuver. So, Uri getting out of those firing arcs. That was the advanced sensors bendy barrel roll. Yes. Okay, so now you hope oh you get a strain. Which is okay for now because you will but not take shots. Didn't you didn't bump? Her base plate does not say bumped. But she 
no she did she did not bump can you look in the uh in the log files yeah did not bump Okay, they are redoing the maneuver. Stopping the time. Oh, okay. Do they need a judge, maybe? Still a bump. Okay, starting the time again. Ooh, so, uh, Nomla will be able to shoot at Guri. Mm. Not if he kills him first. So what do you do now? The, the, where does the arc indicator uh, point at? Edgury. Edgury, okay. Uh, so you might as well shoot on Nomlom. Tarani is the target of Guri. Okay. Hit crit. Two shields down on Tarani. And now it's Nomlom's turn. Range one. Whoa. Hit crit crit. Yeah, that strain really hurt Guri. Yeah. So. Damaged engine and structural. She's down to one hole with a structural. <laughs> oh, wow. That really hurt not so, bumping into Lom Lump here. Yeah. Before you ask, no, I will not look into the d uh, luck score for the dice. Uh... I mean, it's really obvious that those green dice in, in this particular situation where it counts and that, that is what is important, uh, were just, just bad for Guri here. Yeah. And now, um, uh, there's not, not much that, that, um, Guri can do now because, uh, Numlum probably going to sloop or doing a 4k. Uh, and Tarani as well, they both have their target locks, so even could get a proton torpedo shot on Guri. Yeah, 4k or a sloop out of uh, Nomlam looks really good. Then there's the sloop. Gets strained. Does not care. And um, we will, I know, will be able to um, bendy barrel roll off the um, gas cloud to the left if she so desires. Yeah, because yeah. you don't want to go over the gas cloud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you did move through. Um, oh, it gets another strain. Oh my god! And now, should, and now there's get snap, snapshot, or no? No, no, no. No, no, no. You did not end up in the snapshot. Okay. So, but now. Does he have range? Proton torpedo. Okay, yep. there we go. Obstructed in range three. Uh, that is. There it is. And okay, re-rolling the two focus results. For strong, three <laughs> crits. And that's. Nope. Not game because uh, you she was hiding behind the gas load. Wow. Uh, wait a second. Did she have a focus? Uh, was it range one to Tarani? Oh, okay. Uh, structural. Little... Uh, did they miss structure two plus one plus one? It's Strain and so structural. it's it's three, but two, one for um range three range and one for the obstacle so and three. one for the obstacle oh yeah it's four i think they're okay they're re-rolling and that would mean guri's dead but okay oh no range because of the torpedo of of course i'm stupid ah right yeah we are stupid yeah it's red it's uh, torpedo gives you no range against. bonus oh my god yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, X-wing basic class. Yes, <laughs> we failed. So that means uh, Babo is in the cut. GG, yeah. GG. Congratulations to um, 
yeah to Babo here a little bit of bad luck uh for anastas with the green dice but uh Babo played this really well always putting pressure on uh the two ship scum list here so that means we can head over to some more giveaways 